Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be talking about the nephron tubules of the kidney. We've already discussed in previous videos the structure and function of the kidneys, and we've also mentioned renal blood supply. We know that the function of the kidney itself is filtration of blood and formation of urine, and these processes occur in the nephron. The nephron is the functional unit of the kidneys and is responsible for the formation of urine. I've included this diagram on the left which shows you what a nephron looks like. There's going to be arterioles which provide the blood for the nephron and eventually um, we have urine production here and the blood which wasn't filtered gets removed from this point via the efferent arteriole. So the nephron consists of tubules and associated blood vessels. The fluid formed by the capillary filtration, which occurs in this part of the nephron, also known as the Bowman's capsule, it enters the tubules at this point here, and then it's modified by transport processes. So the fluid which does end up in these tubules will get modified uh, by transport processes throughout this whole movement throughout this nephron. And when I say transport processes, I mean that there is processes such as diffusion, facilitated diffusion and active transport, which are occurring um, to the fluid throughout this entire nephron tubule. And the fluid which is left in the tubule is known as urine and then this urine will filter into this part of the kidney here these are the locations of the nephron it's from here to here and it'll eventually filter into the renal pelvis and pass through via the ureter to the urinary bladder so the fluid formed by the capillary filtration enters the tubules and is modified by transport processes the resulting fluid that leaves the tubules is known as urine so just to briefly explain the processes of the filtration, we have the Bowman's capsule here. Blood is going to pass through via an afferent arteriole. It's going to filter through into the proximal convoluted tubule, which is this region here. There'll be some transport processes which are occurring. Then it'll move into the loop of Henle, and there'll be more transport processes occurring here. And then finally to the distal convoluted tubule, which is this region. And finally, it will pass through into the collecting duct. Now, in this video, I don't want to go into too much detail in regards to the specifics of the nephron tubule. I just want to give you a brief understanding, and I will be making separate videos on each part of the nephron tubule in a bit more detail so you understand exactly what's going on. But just bear in mind that fluid is going to blood is going to enter from this point here the fluid which is formed by the filtration here will pass through the tubules of the nephron and there will be transport processes this fluid is going to get modified and then the resulting fluid which is left is going to pass through the collecting duct and it's known as urine so there's two types of nephrons and they are based on their position in the actual kidney and they're also based on the length of the loop of Henle and the loop of Henle is this region of the uh, nephron here and it can either be longer or it can be shorter than this and depending on whether it's longer or shorter determine the type of nephron it actually is so we have uh, cortical nephrons and juxtamedullary nephrons uh, the cortical nephrons they originate in the outer two-thirds of the cortex so they are located in this region here. The juxtamedullary nephrons, they are located on the inner one third of the cortex. So they'll be located just here and they'll be closer to the medulla, which is this region here. Here is the cortex, cortex as you can see from the image. Here is the medulla. The cortical nephrons will be in this region here and the juxtamedullary nephrons will be closer to the medulla, so here. And bear in mind, the loop of Henle of the juxtamedullary nephrons will go deep into the ren renal medulla. And I'll explain why in the video in regards to the loop of Henle, why it's more deeper into the medulla. But just so you know for now, cortical nephrons are located in the outer two thirds of the cortex and the juxtamedullary originate in the one third of the cortex here. And juxtamedullary ne uh, nephrons have longer loops of Henle. And just to finalize this video with a quick point, the juxtamedullary nephrons are important for producing concentrated urine.